name only gets you so far. Passion, discipline, hard work, humility. Those traits built my family's name, and I'm using them to carve my own legacy. I'm Hunter Labrada. It's my turn. All right guys, for today's chest workout, we're gonna start out going a little bit heavier, really trying to exhaust the muscle with free weights. Because of that, we're gonna switch more towards machines at the end. As far as rest times go for this workout, 45 seconds to a minute, or just long enough for your training partner to go if you're training with someone. But before we get started with that, I wanted to warm up my shoulders as I'm just getting started and I'm cold. Basically, we're gonna do a 10 arm circles on each side that just kind of gets some blood in the shoulders, really loosens them up, and then more importantly, we're gonna do a rotator cuff exercise, which really puts blood in your rotator cuff, which is a little, little muscle that can really get injured on your presses if it's not really warm and ready to go. Once you get that warm up out of the way, we're gonna move on to doing incline dumbbell presses. A Couple things to keep in mind. I know everyone has shoulder problems. If you need help getting them kicked up into position, that's fine. But once they're there, if you can't press them out of the hole, they're too heavy. Drop the weight a little. I go with a weight that we can do like 10 to 12 times. A, to keep us injury free, and B, that's the uh, prime time for growth, I feel like. And this is bodybuilding, so we're after growth. You'll notice the full range of motion we use while we do this. A lot of people, because they use dumbbells, don't like to go as deep. I like to envision a bar going through those dumbbells, and when you do a bench press, you take the bar to your chest if you're doing it properly. So that's a good kind of thing to envision when you're doing the dumbbell exercises. For this exercise, we're gonna do four working sets of 12 reps. Typically, at any gym you go to, the position that you do your incline dumbbells on, you're gonna wanna drop it just one notch. It's gonna be just shy of completely flat. And the reason that I like to do this is when you're completely flat and keeping a big chest like you're supposed to on your chest exercises, places an inordinate amount of tension on your front delt. By bringing that up just a little bit, it places all the stretch into your chest and takes a lot of the stress off your shoulders. When you do the motion, bring it all the way down and feel a good stretch. I almost like to pause at the bottom of me trap as you can see in the video. When you bring them up, concentrate not only on bringing them up together, but towards the top of your face as well. So you're kind of like trying to end up over your nose approximately. Never want to have your elbows completely locked out like this, but you're going to want to have to keep them all the way up with a slight bend in them at the top of the rep. Like I said, aiming to get the dumbbells right above your nose. All right, next up on the list is going to be a flat machine press. Today I'm going to be doing them on the Smith machine just because more and more gyms have a Smith machine than any other machine press. I personally prefer to do them on the hammer strength machine because that allows to have a great angle and you have to spend a lot less time getting the bench centered and angled perfectly to get the best feeling in your chest. The reason that we shifted from the free weights to the machines is after doing those incline dumbbell presses and those slight incline flies, typically your stabilizer muscles are going to be pretty shot. So if you went to a flat bench, you might not be able to use your chest as much as you would have because your stabilizers are failing out before your actual chest. So using that machine allows you to really take that out of the equation and really force your chest to the complete point of failure. We're going for a pump with this, so we're gonna go just shy of lockout, and we're gonna get a good stretch at the bottom. All right guys, so at this point, we've gotten a lot of our major work out of the way. At this point, we're going for a pump and a stretch, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna superset pec deck, the dumbbell pullovers. We're gonna start with the pec deck using a weight that you can get 15 reps with without being completely to the point of failure. What that's gonna do is it's gonna saturate your chest with blood. You're gonna go straight from there to a dumbbell pullover. Typically, it's done for back exercises, but whenever you have this much blood in your chest, the stretch that it's gonna give you is gonna really elongate the muscle. And a longer muscle is a stronger muscle, and a longer muscle is a more safe muscle. Whenever you're doing the pec deck, something to keep in mind is at the top of every rep, I'm actually turning my hands in a little like this. What that does is that takes out the uh, propensity for people to concave their shoulders and really try and go like this. What that does is it activates your front delt significantly more than your chest. By going like this, it forces you to keep your chest out and it allows you to get a better pinch using your chest.
All right, guys, so that concludes our chest workout for today. Hope you liked it as much as I did. As far as frequency of chest training goes, I prefer once a week. I'm sore, sore for probably three to four days following this workout, so if you're hitting it right, you shouldn't be able to do it much more than once per week. If you have any questions about this workout in specific or training or nutrition in general, don't hesitate to drop me a message on Body Space. My name's Hunter Labrada, all lowercase, no spaces. And for more content like this, be sure to come back to bodybuilding.com. Ha, 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 ha.